in three seconds or less, I go from one exterior to a completely different look. It's called the Michi bag. The chameleon of pocketbooks. Going out tonight? Here's a look. A lunch date? Maybe this one. Michi, short for Michelle, Michelle Romero, who was a Salt Lake City dental assistant when she did something lots of women do back in 2004. I had this really cute bag that I loved, and I was at lunch, my lunch break, and I spilled on it. Um, on my way home, I was just sitting there thinking, I wish I could just take the cover off this and put a new one on. So she did. This had another striped fabric on it, and so I just got a uh, seam ripper, and I pulled it apart. Then I just bought some fabric and super glue and stuffed it on, and kind of went from there. <laughs> I told my husband, and. I knew it was a good idea when I started getting men excited about handbags. <laughs> Michelle spent two years looking for help. Friends pointed her toward Chris Siegmiller, a serial entrepreneur with manufacturing contacts in China. He saw the possibilities, but the costs were prohibitive. In early 2007, looking for seed money, Chris took the prototype to a childhood friend, Corbin Church, who showed it to three women. Almost every person has the same reaction and it's jaw-dropping awe. In July of 07, they test marketed the Michi bag at this Salt Lake City mall. We sold over $20,000 in three quarters of that month. So they headed for malls all over the country, but the road was bumpy. In 2008, the U.S. economy went downhill fast. Malls became ghost towns, and we had to find a way to take the product to the masses. Home parties are the secret to Michi's success. Tamara Simon is one of the Michi foot soldiers. Well, I used to be the uh, credit card and license in the back pocket kind of girl. I could not go and buy 17 purses for all my outfits, and so this is the alternative. Really, it's a girl's night out, and I'm selling purses. You have to get that one. We have some people doing very, very well. Local distributors buy wholesale in big numbers. In its first full year, 2008, Michi's revenues were just under $7 million. In 2009, more than $30 million. In 2010, more than $55 million. Michi's good fortune prompted a move to give back. In 2010, they debuted the Hope Shell. Sales generated a donation of more than $700,000 to the Huntsman Cancer Institute. Michelle Romero, while she's devoting more time to her family these days, designing for Michi can be pretty hectic. We always try to keep about 36 different styles available to the consumer, but no doubt, endless supply of alternatives and options with the line.